All right, welcome to the first part of our uh, instructional video tutorial for drawing a neck in 3D space and then creating surfaces on top of it. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is simply just importing our blueprint into Rhino. So to do that, as usual, we're gonna go picture frame. And I'm gonna select mine here. You'll be provided with the blueprints before that. So I'm going to place mine right on the origin point. I'm going to import it upright. I'm going to use our top view. So as you see here, we have our blueprint. It's quite clear. It should be pretty easy to read our numbers. Um, and looking at our blueprint, the first thing that we notice here is that our blueprint, uh, its measurement is in inches rather than centimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and change our grid using grid options. I'm going to go to units right here, change it from millimeters to inches, press yes. So now we're going to have to scale our image here. So to scale our image, uh, just the same as last time, we use 2D scale and anywhere we can find a measurement that we can read, we can scale with that. So I'm going to use this measurement from here to here, very simply just two inches. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in nice and close on that. I'm going to select the object I want to scale. So the picture, press done. We'll go from there to there. I'm just gonna type in two for two inches. And zoom out and there you have our blueprint perfectly scaled. The last thing I'm going to do with our blueprint here is I'm going to take this line here that goes all the way up through the center of the neck and through the truss rod and I'm going to line that up perfectly with our y-axis. This is going to help us a lot in uh, finding the center of our neck when we're drawing it in 3D space. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in nice and close on that. I'm just going to manually move it over so that this line here in the center of our bottom view of the neck lines up perfectly with the y-axis. So in the next video, we're going to go over uh, all the curves that we need to trace. Uh, there's going to be several in this one from different angles. Uh, so we'll do that in the next instructional video.